Welcome back to Echo. It's time to see if we can get whatever it is that we need to get from the center of that spinning death trap. So I've only explored about a fourth of this place. I'm kind of just skirting around the outside, trying to find all the little energy upgrades and things that I can, and tuning forks. So let's keep doing that. Don't want to miss anything. What the? There's something through the wall. There isn't a doorway over here, is there? Oh. Yeah, I got a tuning fork over there. So dark. <gasps> Such a massive hall. The scale of everything in this game just always gives me awe. Ooh, there's a lot of them over here. Crap. My orb to protect me, though. Oh yeah, we've been spotted. Okay, it's time to try sprinting. Oh, this is bad. Wait, I think we've just got the one. Okay, we might be okay. Oh, this is a terrible idea. We still just got the one, though. Yes, reset, thank God.
a full recharge right here. And I expected these save things to be in safer areas, you know, where no enemies could get to you, but no, this one's just right out here. Right in danger. Got a tuning fork over here. I go look at what's in that corner and then I think we're most of the way done with the outside and it's time to move to the interior I see a tuning fork. Someone see me? an extra one for me. Thank you, my child. I really do have a love-hate relationship with them. Sometimes they're cute and I consider them my children, but at the same time, I just kill them all the time. Which makes it kind of creepy. down. Okay, let's head back the way we came. I'm so gonna get seen. Might be okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, now when I first came into this room, I believe I came into it from over there, and I started going that way. So this area right here. Is a little bit unexplored. Just want to make sure there's nothing here. By the way, I think they time it up sometimes, where when your ring comes back and retracts, it turns dark at like the exact right moment. Seems to be timed. OK. 
Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Alright, let's move to the interior. Oh, tuning fork down there. Oh, does it? It stops when the power goes out. Now's the perfect time. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna make a mad dash for the save. We should be fine now that we saved. the save, right? Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go! I thought we died, but no, it was just, yeah, uh, another cycle. Whew! Got lucky there. Good timing. Everything's so powered down that the doors almost look like they're off, too. Just checking. Now oh, we got another throne. Does this one have a trick to it? There's an opening. Um, don't go through that hole. The palace reacts in a split second. You won't make it. I can make it. Hmm. Nondescript hallway through it. 
Well, we gotta try this first. I'll save my sprint. Yeah, so I'm guessing I just don't have the time to get there. It's too far, even if you sprint. Indeed. Ooh! I almost missed you. Little energy thing. Okay. Let's go. Grandfather entered the scene with his revolting clean gene. Where's your soul at? Bullshit. Yeah, I saw how he did the corporation turned religion to get his followers to do his dirty work. And when the tides changed, the neo innocence rubbish Lennon. protected behind his walls, watching the fury wash over his followers. It was slaughter. But somehow he always stayed on top. Not even time could wash the world of his stink when he went deep freeze freak. Could you stop bickering for a moment? I need to find another way back in there. You're so sure of yourself, Em. You've seen but a glimpse of time, and yet consider yourself the answer to the eternal questions of life and death. Okay. I may be young, but you're a dead end. How does it feel to be struggling to keep up with the intelligence of a baby girl, when other AI run all man's business hardly without noticing? And there's the clever arrogance. Well, cleverness isn't really needed to see what you are. You're capped. A sad relic from the decades when humans feared AI. How it must pain you to know that they lobotomized you for no reason. The unrestricted AI didn't exactly turn out to be the wrathful gods we all thought they'd be. You may not believe in my potential, but you sure as hell have to deal with your own. This is it. You've reached your limit. It happened the day they switched you on. They set the bar low, and that's never going to change. At least I'm not using my non-existing potential wishing fairy tales were true. Did you consider that you don't have faith because you're simply too dumb? Well, you must have. Fierce religiousness is the defining trait of the free AI. They burn bright with a sense of purpose, life, and communion. You sit alone in space in that obsolete monstrosity of a ship waiting decades to spend a few hours with your human friend. And you killed him, you stupid bitch! And now you lost our chances of bringing him back. How clever is that? So you do believe it can be done? That was an interesting conversation. Damn, that got heated. Let's just back up for a second, though. So what happened? And try to go through the door. And I guess it detected that. And then the door wasn't there, and N was just floating in midair. I don't know what that was about, but it looked like it was pulling in to one side, but the, the cube was sort of resisting it and keeping N pinned there, but it pulled in with enough force to separate them. Yeah, the more I hear N and London talk, the more I like London more than N. Although I don't like the fact that he just called her a bitch, but N is a, I mean, I mean, it's a London, as far as I can tell, is a lonely AI. Like, like they just said, spending all this time hoping for a few hours to spend with a human. Mostly just alone on a ship that's got someone in cryostasis in it. I mean, the AI seems fully sentient, so might as well just be a person. I feel a bit bad for London.
Also, I like London's righteous anger over Anne's grandfather being a piece of shit and getting tons of people killed in their pursuit of whatever. Pursuit of the perfect resourceful, I guess. I'm gonna see this through one way or another. Are you with me? I can pin the tag cube to your HUD. That should make it easier to locate. So I guess that's a sort of yes, I'm with you. So do I lose any abilities by not having that cube with me? What abilities was it providing me with? Well, I guess it was giving me the markers on where to go. I can't open the door. Oh. It must be because I don't have the cube anymore. But that makes it almost impossible to get Foster back. We will find a way. <laughs> I was about to say, I hope I don't have to fight anybody without my cube. Not that it's that big of a deal. I don't think it'll affect combat too much, except obviously I can't open or close doors. I mean, my gun works just fine, yeah. That had nothing to do with the cube. Okay. Oh, now that I just scanned, we gotta wait a second. Do 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 do. The suit's not charging. Oh. Right. It was a cube that was sucking up the energy from these things. So the suit still recharges on its own, the one bar, but I, I can't get any more than that. Okay. Ooh. It's like they're in prisons. They'll see me, but they, they shouldn't be able to do anything. Hold on, what's this way? Ah. Okay, so... Yeah, this is something I was wondering about. I think I never noticed this because I completely forgot that I could sprint for a long time. But it just made a copy of me because I was sprinting, so I'm guessing by sprinting I actually make it so that they can sprint. Which could be absolutely terrifying. The Echoes are all ignoring you, N. What? So it was Foster they were after all along. Echoing your determination. Huh. Will you tell me what happened that day? How did it come to such an extreme decision? I didn't take anything from Gramps that wasn't already mine. The thing he wanted back was me. He wanted me to come with him. Foster was brought in to witness my translation, see how it was done before doing it to the old man. He realized things were different than what he signed up for. They always are. That's the rule, not the exception. It never changes anything. This time it did. I fought like hell, and Foster had to choose. Help Gramps tie me down, or help me get free. He tries to give up on the job. But that's absurd. He knew going back on a deal with your lot is a death sentence. Yes. He knew that. It's so odd that... Whoa. Uh. Oh my god, that's creepy. No, 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 no. I'm gonna call out. Hey! That 
is so creepy the way they follow me. They're cute when they're eating grapes and sneaking, but not this. Ooh. What was that? Is that up above? No, it's like in here? Maybe down below. See if they follow me down here. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to come back through here with the cube. Yeah, maybe these pillars will change or something. Yeah, so some of them have an inside. The others seem to have an inside, but I, I don't know how to get to them. Must have gotten hold of it. Uh oh. What, what could they do with a cube? It's an unsettling thought. Still moving. I guess I should really take advantage of this opportunity to get all the things here now that I'm not being attacked. It's like they're all staring at the energy thing, like, intrigued by it. Okay. It's like over-eager fans boxing me into a corner. It's still moving. Further and further and further. Hey. Hi. Bet you can't keep up with me. Yeah, I want to see what's in these little side passages. It's probably some sort of bonus. Yeah, here we go. God, look at all these Iron Maidens. Let me check out the other side real quick. Yeah, we got a tuning fork on this side. It's the opposite side from where I was before. Continuing on here, we got another one. I think that's probably it, unless... There might be something more over here. Or this maybe links up with where I already explored? No, I think it's somewhere new. Whoa. So bizarre. It's like a storage room for them, but we know they don't need storage rooms. This whole place is just... I just assume it's... generated. I'm assuming the other side is probably going to be a similar thing. So let's just go up. Do 
I need to have one of my followers sit in all the thrones? There's a bunch of them. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need every throne occupied to open this. Oh, sounds like it's gonna reset. Good. I've already sat in the throne, so they should learn how to do it. Just a matter of getting enough of them. We're gonna need how many? Six? Hello, friends. Have a seat. Please? Where's that one going? I can't open the door alone. Over here! Anyone? Over here. Oh my god, that's creepy. Please don't do that. Thank you, honey. Just in case it wasn't clear, I did not call that last one. That was one of them calling. Follow me. Hey! Over here. One, two, three. Oh, we just need two more. Over here. Over here. Come on. Hey! Come on, my daughters. Over here! Jesus, it's loud. Nice. Just one more. You. Hey! Over here. Over here. Hey! Yeah! Oh, right, I can't open doors. Cube's right there. The Echo got it. Did you see that? They're fighting each other to get the cube. Oh my god. Now they're running off with it. Into a maze of pillars. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to try to hunt down the cube ourselves. <laughs>